<clears throat> Good afternoon. How's it going, guys? All right, so this evening, last stream of the week, somebody, by the way, somebody, I don't know who it was, somebody gifted me a horror game on, on Steam called The Lunch Lady. You want shooting? Because I'm not probably ever going to play that game. I will shit my pants. How you doing, Barb? <clears throat> I will absolutely shit my pants. I don't watch horror movies. I don't do any kind of like scary gaming, none of that stuff. This thing looks mad. Mad. <clears throat> absolutely mad, this game. It's Lunch Lady. I don't know why somebody would do that to me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so whoever that was that gifted that to me, thank you very much. I don't think you'll probably ever see me play it on stream, <laughs> but, but you know. All right, so this evening we are making um, scotch eggs. So there was two ways you can do scotch eggs. You can do it deconstructed or you can do it constructed. <laughs> we are going to do it constructed. Uh, deconstructed was okay, but that would be a ten-minute stream, so we're not doing that. We're going to make our we're going to make our very own baked beans. We're going to do some fried potatoes. Um, so kind of a kind of a simple, easy menu. Last night's food was excellent. Last night's food came out really, really good. Thoroughly enjoyed that. When I got my when I got my very first American passport today. Um, yep, since my I've been a citizen since 2017, and this is my very first time of getting a passport in the United States. And let me tell you, it was quick. It was like boom, done. That, it was so quick. So, uh, yeah, that's done and dusted now as well. So that's out of the way. So <clears throat> we're going to switch over to the other channel, to the other, cha other channel, to the other screen. Good afternoon, Damon. How are you? Actually, get to catch you start a stream for once. Yes, 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 yes. Good to see you, my friend. All right. So, <clears throat> like I said, uh, scotch eggs, which I've not made on stream before. Um, I haven't made them in years, so hopefully it still works out. Hopefully I can still, I still know what I'm doing. Um, but it's pretty straightforward. Um, home with sick kids, so it could be better, but could be worse. Yes. The weather here is, the weather here is insane right now. It's, uh, all the snow melted and then it came back and it's not a lot of snow, but it's like enough to cover everything again. And it's now like so cold that it's like frozen solid again. So it's horrible. I'm a big fan of them. Fresh chorizo. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this is just a, this is just a regular, which my sausage is still downstairs. I didn't even bring that up yet. Um, this is just a regular breakfast link that we're going to use. Well, it's a thicker link that we're going to use. <clears throat> um, Pick a link that we're going to use and go from there. And then, um, of course, homemade baked beans. Uh, we've got the northern beans. We've had the northern beans soaking. Northern beans have been soaking. <clears throat> this is a very, sorry, this is a very British meal today. Baked beans, scotch eggs, and potatoes. <laughs> so, yeah, these have been soaking. Some of them are... So we're going to use this. We're going to do um, onion, brown sugar, ketchup, molasses, vinegar, mustard, salt, garlic powder. That's all. It's going to go in our going to go in our baked beans. <clears throat> Obviously, we're going to boil them. We're going to do six. So we're going to do four four poached eggs. Uh, not poached. Four boiled eggs. And so we're going to make four of these um, four of these Scotch eggs. Um, it's weird because you use you use eggs to in the middle and then you use eggs on the outside of it as well. We're going to use cornflakes as well. We got some some cornflakes that we're going to grind up and use that with some panko. Hey Dave, how are you mate? Welcome in. <clears throat> um, so we're going to do some panko with a little bit of cornflakes. But I said the deconstructed the deconstructed eggs were kind of like a 5 minute deal. You could just be, you know, it's like a sausage patty. You bread the sausage patty in the thing, and then you boil an egg and throw the egg on the plate, and it's like, yeah, okay, ooh, wonderful. 
So wasn't that wasn't that great? Wasn't that appealing? But so has anybody ever seen one of these things? If you've not seen one of these things and you like boiled eggs, you need to buy one of these things. This is a fail-safe boiled egg thing, right? So you literally put this in the water, right? Put this in the water and this will heat up to when your egg is to what temperature you want your egg. So I'm going to do medium. I'm going to do like a right slap bang in the middle of the road, medium tonight, right? So all you do is you fill up your you fill up your pan with your hot water, stick this in there like this, right? And then you boil your eggs. And when that gets to the right temperature, shut it off. And it works perfect. I've made so many boiled eggs like I messed around seeing if I could screw it up. I haven't screwed up one yet. Watch me screw it up tonight now. Watch it happen tonight now. Watch me screw it up tonight. <laughs> So we're going to do four eggs in there. I can just I can just see what's going to happen now. I can just see it. I jinxed it right off the bat. Hmm. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So, 16 ounces of beans. These are northern beans. I don't know if that makes much difference as far as like the style of the baked beans that comes out, but these are, these are what I've used for baked beans in the past. So we're gonna drain these off. These have been soaking. We're gonna drain them off. Drain them off and we'll get all the, the funky bits out. How, very, very good. Yes, J uh, James, half of the damn thing's gone. When you make scotch eggs, you always have slightly undercook it as you fry it again, always. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm gonna do a little bit under medium so that it's not gonna be a runny egg. Hey, bear fan, it's not gonna be a runny egg in my scotch egg. It's not going to be a hard boiled egg, hopefully, you know, like super hard boiled egg either. It's going to be middle of the road. So, beer fan, um, risotto, corned beef and cabbage, or Happy Irish stew? Has the kind of the only pans. Thank you very much once again for that continued support. Irish stew, all right. So, let's go up here and we'll go stew. So, it looks like the Irish stew and the risotto is like slowly creeping up. Looks like they're they're like put their way ahead, but the Irish stew is catching up. So So we had a discussion with the Little Bear Produce Company today. The uh they sent the they sent the shirts to print. So they're gonna print them all. Um they're going to print them all and have them all sent out as soon as possible. I got the hot sauce delivered today from um, the Kindred Nations Hot Sauce Company. They, they sent a big box of hot sauce. The box got damaged. The box got damaged, but I still managed to... Two, two, two bottles of the hot sauce was missing out of the box. But what we have got, is that right? Two, four, five, six, seven, yes. So seven bottles of hot sauce, eight bottles, I'm sorry. Eight bottles of hot sauce. So we've got a, a fire within Foxy Gaming hot sauce. So that sounds like that's pretty, pretty hot, that one. We've got a pineapple heat, which sounds like that'd be pretty good. We have this one that has a little controller on it. This one is a Creole hot sauce inspired by clanhub.gg. So that's a, that comes with a little controller there. We've got the Brohemian Rhapsody spicy honey mustard. 
Headshot. Raspberry Deception. I have no idea what the heck that is, but I'm going to guess there's raspberries in it. Then the Icon Source, which is what I made the wings with the other day. This is awesome. That's my favorite. That's been my favorite. And then this one is a Cracked Garlic Mild. So, some decent stuff there. So, it looks like I'm selling hot sauce for a living. Looks like I'm selling hot sauce for a living with the amount of hot sauce i got on my counter. So, I'll be contacting the people that won the hot sauce and seeing how spicy they like it. Some like it hot, some doesn't. So, you know, if you like your hot sauce hot, then I can give you a hot one. If you don't, then maybe I can give you a little bit of garlicky one or something like that. So, yeah, yeah, the, the box was, the top was completely ripped off the box. <clears throat> the hot sauces were all laying down and uh, two of the bottles were missing and then they delivered it in a bag. It was like in a plastic bag. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? But yeah, nothing's safe. Nothing is safe. It's tough when you've got to try and ship 10 bottles of hot sauce, though, so. Um, dinner looked great yesterday. Thank you, Butler. Yeah, it was really good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. As did Laura. The garlic naan came out really well. Nice and nice and soft, even today. So we made leftovers, and even today, the, the naan bread is super, super soft. You guys were all driving, I think, weren't you? Same about John Motson. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yep. But you know what? We're all going to go sometime. He had a good innings. You know what? It's my dad's birthday today. My dad would have been... My dad died 10 years ago. And my dad would have been 79 years old today. So... It's a... It's a very sad day today. Yes. All right, so keeping an eye on this again, like I said, this is this is at soft right now. Thank you, bear friend. So look, I'll show you this, look. That's what the egg's gonna look like right now if I took it off. See how it goes white? See that there? How cool, how cool is that? Like, that's such an easy gadget to use. Silly little gadget, but absolutely brilliant as well. Like, works every time so baked beans in the back baked beans in the back so for our beans we're going to saute off a little onion now we're not making we're not making Heinz baked beans we're not making Branston baked beans we're making homemade baked beans homemade baked beans are a little bit different than any any beans you buy in a can they're not like the cans you they're not like the beans you buy in a can. So yeah, I know everyone's gonna be like, well that don't look like baked beans. But they'll be fine. They'll be totally fine. I need to get a gadget like that. Butler, go on Amazon. They're dirt cheap. They're like I think they're like three or four quid. They're not not expensive at all. And they make the perfect, honest to God, they make the perfect boiled eggs. Right, look. See there, look. That's, that's like 30 seconds away pretty much from where I want it. So I'm just going to turn that off. Leave them in the hot water, but turn it off. And then in a minute... You literally put them in ice water and it and it like stops the cooking so it's a it's a great little thing just getting some ice i'm not trying to Right, so I got crushed ice. No Heinz 57 variety, that's right. That's right. So 
So look, there you go, look. So all we're going to do, I'm going to take them out of there. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Yeah, ex excellent. Yeah, she's... Uh, my mum my and my sister went over to uh, the Netherlands to visit my niece. I went to get my passport this morning. <clears throat> so there's no getting out of it now. <laughs> there's no getting out of it now. I am 100% American now. I have an American passport. <laughs> well, 95%. Because I still have my British one too. They ain't taking that away from me. And then all you do is just take that out. And it cools down and that's all you need to do. That's it. You don't even have to do anything with that. It's a perfect little thing, I'm telling you. It's, it's really, really good gadget. <clears throat> right, give me one second. I'm going to run downstairs and grab my... <laughs> grab the sausage, not my sausage. Give me one second. I'll be right back. Walk links. Before we mess with that, we're going to get on with the, we're going to do the baked beans first. So we're going to take these out of the, take them out of the skin. So first things first, we're going to saute off the onion a little bit. And everything goes in the same pot. So it's, it's a, a one pot shot for the baked beans. Now other people have done them in the oven, seen done in the oven before. And you could if you wanted to, but. I'm not going to turn the oven on if I don't have to. So, so for bake for these baked beans, it's a real simple, real simple recipe. Um, brown sugar, ketchup, molasses, vinegar, mustard, salt, and a little garlic powder. So we got some fancy. We got some fancy molasses. I don't know why they call it fancy molasses. This molasses is molasses, isn't it? But this one's called fancy molasses. Um, yeah, some some brown old stuff there. Look. <laughs> Now, okay, so ketchup, molasses, vinegar, mustard. So like I was saying, it's not, it's not like a, like a real runny sauce, like, like Heinz would be. I don't know what, I don't know what Branston beans look like. No clue. Never seen them before. Never tried them, never seen them, like nothing like that. Like I wouldn't have a clue. So I can't use that as an example because I don't know what the difference is. But um, I do know that Heinz baked beans are very watery. So I still like them as they're the only ones I know. You know, they're the only ones I know. So it's not like I'm, I'm putting them against anything else. So it's not. All right, so we sauteed off the onion. We're going to throw the beans in. Give it to me now. We're going to put in some, some water. And they just go, they just really like, they cook, they cook for a while. They cook for a while until they're done. And it takes a while. And you just keep topping that water up a little bit. Um, I have some in my cupboard. <laughs> 
Yeah, I've never tried them. Never tried them. I actually didn't even know until you guys started talking about it that Branston even made beans. So, I, I like I said, I never even I had didn't have a clue that they made them. So, right, got the corn flakes. Need the corn flakes for the crust. The corn flakes for the crust for the Scotch eggs. Brown sugar, three quarters of a cup. Shame we can't send you a can. <laughs> the, weight, the weight of that would probably make that thing cost a bomb. I mean, when I sent, I sent Dave... I sent Dave some hot sauce and some, what I sent, I sent hot sauce. I think I sent hot sauce and the creme delish and it was a little pricey, but it's, it's all right. Um, okay, ketchup. So, mustard. Now, this is just to get it going. This isn't like the permanent, like, oh, that's all the mustard. That's all the bit, you know, the sauce and everything. We are going to add more to it. Uh, molasses. Three tablespoons. That gives it its, that gives it the color. And obviously a little bit of flavor too. Molasses has got quite a potent flavor, so it, it really does give it a pop. When you move your internet, oh yes, they should have, yeah. In fact, I can Google that. I can Google that shit right now and find out if they have it. I can actually Google that and see if they have it. Right, so once they cook, brown sugar, ketchup, vinegar. Tablespoon, tablespoon of vinegar, so white vinegar, um, for a little bite. <clears throat> Let's see if I've got some white vinegar. I should have. Oh, yeah. Got it out here. Now, you can change the flavor of these, too, if you wanted to. Like, if you didn't like your beans, like, you know, you could make them a little spicy if you wanted to. Um little garlic just a little bit not not you could um you could put some k uh, some cayenne pepper in there you could put some cajun seasoning in there um you literally can put i mean you could put whatever you want in, in your beans really um let's have a let's have a quick look and see if i can find it i'll see if they have it uh, that's wild. Huh. I put I put it in. Put the restaurant. In, put the put the name of the place in. It's the only one there. So let's have a look what it says. Branston. We'll put Branston. Original pickle, original pickle, pickle-lily, pickle-lily, pickle, 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 daddy sauce, doesn't look like, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, let's have a look, doesn't look like they have baked beans, looks like they have the other stuff though, <clears throat> baked beans. Um, bachelors, mamas, Heinz. They have Heinz. They have Heinz. They have Bushes. Bushes. Greece International. Kingsford. Kingsford Ease and Foods. Primrose for Air. Rare Bush is best. 
does not look like they have Branson baked beans. No, there's 42 items of Branston that they have. It's called Jungle Gyms International Market in Ohio. It does not look like they have it. All right, so that's all we add into the beans, and then we're just going to let them cook. They just cook. They sit back there. They get happy. They mingle in with their friends. Of course, I've got to put a pinch of salt in there, too. Smells good. Try not to burn my finger on there. That's a bit dangerous and all, but what are you going to do? All right, so we're going to turn that down. We're going to put the lid on. We keep an eye on it, but put the lid on it. Now, these, these things, I've never used these links before either, so I don't know if it's going to be enough. This should be enough, though. So all we're doing... Even if I make three, that's fine. Taking the skins out. These, these links, these casings are way thinner than the casings that I use when I make my own made sausages they are way way thinner way thinner Hey, Milford. All right. Yeah, these, these casings, I don't know where they got these casings from, but they are super thin. Way, way, way thinner than the ones I get. Of course, they might not be hog casings either. They might be something else. Yeah, not sure. Type of sausage, it's a pork sausage, a uh, breakfast pork sausage. Sorry if I just looked. Yeah, no worries, Dave. Are you guys driving again tonight? Yeah, just a pork, it's a pork sausage, regular, regular pork sausage. Um, this then says, one cup of flour, one cup of corn flakes, which is the other stuff, sausage out of the casing, two eggs, oil, salt. So it's pretty, pretty basic recipe, really. Um, the only thing you put in here is whatever seasonings you want in here, and there's not a lot of seasoning in it. Some salt and pepper if you want, really. Um, oh, here my nose. So we'll put a little pepper in, because I know there's not much pepper in there. So you use one cup of flour, one cup of cornflakes. Um, you, uh, you put it in the breadcrumbs, sorry, you put it in the flour, you put it in the egg, then you put it into the to the um, cornflake mix. But you, you 
obviously wrap this around this with not with the shit not with the shell on but this should be enough i think this should if this is enough for four it should definitely be enough for three I was I was on a budget this week trying trying not to to spend too much money because I haven't got a lot of money. So this is a good budget meal right here. Baked beans is easy enough and cheap enough. Potatoes I had a big uh, ten pound bag, so that's another easy easy thing. So right, let's. So what we're going to do? We're going to take three bowls. We'll take three of Dave's big bowls. So basically to make like a breading station. Two eggs. You could put a little milk in there if you have, this recipe doesn't need it. You could put some in there if you wanted to, though. Um, this recipe doesn't call for it. Probably because they want it to be real, like, you know, real sticky, kind of. that there then um a flour um a bowl of flour you can again you can season the flour if you want whatever kind of whatever kind of seasonings you want depends on like the color and stuff you're looking for um i put a little pepper in my in my sausage meat so again you could put i mean there's pretty much anything you could put paprika Cajun, like depending on what you're trying to go for. If you're just trying to do like a regular, regular one, then salt, sauce, I, I guess salt, pepper, garlic would be one. You could put a little onion base in there if you wanted to. Um, not really, most of the flavor of this comes off of like what the corn, the corn flakes and the, and the sausage meat itself. And of course, when you fry it, it's going to get when you fry it, it gets ha it gets really happy anyway. Um, okay, so cornflakes in this one. So we're just going to take, make sure I get the right one and not plug the coffee machine in. Done that before. Plug the coffee machine in instead of the instead of the mixer, the processor. And uh, like, why is the processor not working? Oh, because I'm making coffee instead. Right. Are you driving again tonight, Dave? I wasn't sure if that's what you were setting up. Or... Box of cornflakes. So I'm thinking of... Ooh. I'm thinking of changing my stream time by 30 minutes. Starting, starting a little bit earlier. Starting 30 minutes earlier. But that won't that won't start yet, even if I did do it. Thinking about starting 30 minutes earlier, because that way I can um if we have somebody looking at the house and different things, I've got stuff to do. Now nah, just busy with work, so oh, I got you. Just been looking on YouTube at a video, big selection, just randomly search PG tips and yet they, oh yeah, they would have that. Yeah. Yeah. YouTube on their, on their YouTube, they got a, they got a bunch of stuff on there. So, right. So let me just pulse this real quick. It took me, it took me close to two hours to clean my kitchen yesterday. 
by the time I was done cleaning my kitchen, you guys were already done, packed up, driving and everything. It took me close to two hours. I had stuff everywhere. One of my favorite chocolate bars too. Oh yeah, Caramac, yep. All right. Oh shit, that was close. Let me see here. Ba -da -da -ba -ba -da -na 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 -na. All right. Other things that you need to start doing one pot wonders. One pot wonders. Well, that's what this pretty much is. Pretty much. How are you guys? Thank you. Welcome for the raid. Welcome to the Raiders. Um, dressed at one of my dressed as Jamie Oliver. What? How are you, UFO? Yeah, wait a minute. Divine Pathways, how are you? Thank you very much for the raid. I appreciate it. Do one pot wonders dressed as dressed as Jamie Oliver? No chance. Hey there, how was your stream? What was your streaming tonight? Was you streaming anything fun? Was you killing people? What was you doing? I was weaving on the loom and heard you are moving to Ohio. I am. So I used to live in Ohio. I used to live in Dayton, Ohio. And uh, we're moving back. My grandkids live there. So um, we're moving back to be around the grandkids. This might not be enough. I don't know if this is small enough. I don't think it is, is it? That need to go a bit more, doesn't it? So are you moving to Dayton? I'm moving very close to Dayton. Yes. Very, very close to Dayton. And I'm going to be buying a food truck. I'm going to run a food truck in the area too. Yes. Yep. Yep. That would be me. News travels fast. I was telling her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. Something I've wanted to do. Something I've wanted to do for a while. And been scared to death to think about doing it. And then uh, a couple of my friends started one. Um, we actually had friends from Dayton, Ohio come up here. And their friend started one. And he's like, you need to do it. You'll love it. You won't ever look back. It'll be a great thing. And I'm going to stream from the food truck as well. I'm going to set up a stream from the food truck as well. So that'll be something a little different. Good day. Yeah. Hey, bloody hell. Clabberban as well. We don't normally see Clabberban in these parts. He's normally harassing other people by now. He's normally harassing others by now, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. A long time. Yes, it has been. I'm excited. So, oh, so you are you from the Dayton area then? Are you from that area? Because uh, what kind of feel? What kind of food? So we, <laughs> I've got a guy that lives in Dayton now. Um, oh, okay. I've got a guy that lives in Dayton now. He's actually my real estate guy. <laughs> We're actually very good friends, and he's like, I know the places to go, I know the food to serve. I need to do this and I need to do that. And he's like, I can't wait for you to get here. So we're, I'm a little bit up in the, I'm not going to do fried food. I'm not going to have a fryer. I'm not going to have a deep fryer. Um, I don't want to do a deep fryer in there because I don't want to clean up the mess. I just don't want to clean up the mess from a deep fryer. So I won't have a deep fryer in there. I'm probably going to look into like a commercial uh, air fryer or like a turbo chef, something like that. Thing is, with a turbo chef, you're uh, um, you're limited, I guess, because it uses a lot of power. So it depends on what sort of power supply you have for the food truck, whether you can run that that um, that piece of equipment. So I got to look into all that. Um, a food truck sounds fun. Are you going? Yes, I am. Yes. So when we move, I'm going to buy a house that has a second kitchen in the basement. 
so that way I can use the basement kitchen as my um, commissary kitchen, if you like, where I do all my prep. Stick a big Arsenal logo on the side. What? No, I ain't doing all that. All right, so there's our sausage meat. This is the, this is the egg. This is the egg. So we're gonna peel these real quick. And then we're gonna put them right back in the ice water. So. I think it's two bees, I think. I meant it's messy, but always clean. Yeah, it is messy. So here's the thing, like with a, with a food truck, obviously, obviously with a food truck and you have a, a deep fryer in it, you've always got the chance that that deep fryer could spill over when you're driving. You gotta wait for it to cool down. Um, you know, you gotta wait for it to cool down. Okay, Divine, thank you very much for the follow, uh, for the, for the raid, I'm sorry. Thank you very much for the raid, I appreciate it. Enjoy your food. So yeah, so that's that's the thing that worries me about a uh, having a fryer in a food truck is the fact that you have to wait for it to cool down for one, and then you know cleaning it, it's gonna it's gonna affect you. Figure that little space, you know that little that little um, food truck space that you're gonna have. If you've got that full of fryer oil, you're gonna have to clean everything every single night, like you know like crazy, and. Um, I'm just not that, you know, I'm just not into that. I'd rather just not have the fryer in there. I'd rather come up with a different way to serve. I don't want to say healthy food, you know, but healthier food, maybe. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to be serving tofu sandwiches, you know, but um, I don't want to do, I want to make it as nice and as easy as possible and uh, see what we can come up with. But there's tons of options. It's healthy, right? Yeah. All right, so this is a soft boiled egg. Quite soft. Quite soft. As you can see, look. It's quite soft. So I'm going to put that right back in the ice cold water. <clears throat> which is... Hey, we need healthier alternatives to fast foods. Yeah, well, we had a we had a guy in here the other day. He was a military veteran. He got kicked out of the service because he was overweight because all he ate was fast food. Not all he ate, but like that's that's one of the things he ate. And um, he's still now struggling with with weight because of fast food. I try not to eat as much. Like like I try not to go. Like we don't go out very rarely. Do we go out to eat? And if we do go out, like, it's not like to like, it's not like to like, uh, you know, McDonald's or Burger King or, or Kentucky Fried Chicken or anything like that. I can make that stuff at home if I want, and I can make it a hell of a lot healthier than, than that. But <clears throat> we, I couldn't tell you the last time I went out to eat. Couldn't tell you. I couldn't even tell you where the last time I went out. I quit soda for a few years and was running like a machine. Yeah. Yeah, soda's soda's tough. We don't buy we don't buy it. We never used to buy it when my kids were little either. Like we would not. You know, if my kids ever had it, it was a treat and somebody else bought it because I wasn't buying it. <clears throat> and uh I don't even think now that my kids even drink it now and they're, you know, 28, 27. This one's gonna be a this one's gonna be a problem. This one's going to be a problem here. Look, Blech. it's already splitting. So I got to try and pack. This is going to be a patchwork one, this one. Because I dug my fingers in it when I was trying to peel it. But that's all right. We'll figure it out. I'll be able to figure this one out somehow. I'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah, it's just this, it's, uh, I dug my finger in it. <laughs> when I was trying to, when I was trying to crack it, I dug my finger in it.
that's the good thing about it is, is I'm putting the sausage around it before it goes into any of this. So another trick I saw was they put cornstarch on the outside of the egg first, but I thought, bloody hell, that's a lot. That's a lot. Cornstarch, then fl then flour, then bread, cr then cornflakes. Like that's a lot. You might not even be able to get into the egg if you. <laughs> Doesn't help that I'm wearing band aids either because I, stupid and burst a blister yesterday. And then cut myself this morning. So. Doesn't help. I didn't know that there was loaded potato sausage over in America. I didn't know that there was loaded potato sausage over in America that has meat and potato. Do you mean a loaded meat and potato soup? I don't know what you, I don't know. Meat and potato sausage. Never seen one myself. A sausage with potato in it. Never seen one wherever I've lived. Wherever I've been, I've never seen one. That's what happens when you've got like the really soft eggs. You know, that's the chance you take. And he's Irish American, yeah. Yeah, trust me. <laughs> trust me, if there's somebody that knows sausage and potatoes. <laughs> Yeah, this one's, there you go, that one's better, look. That one's better. Hey, Krim. So this one here that's destroyed, I'm still going to do it, but it's probably not going to come out the best looking. But, but we'll find out soon enough. Homemade baked beans over here. We're going to add some more sauce and stuff to them in a few. I have to look. I'm eating some wings and don't want to mess up my phone. Yeah, no worries. No worries. All right. Yeah, so here we go. This, this is way easier. Now that I haven't stuck my finger in it, it hasn't broke the yolk or anything. It hasn't broke the uh, the white part of the egg. The last one, that one there that's on the table, I stuck my finger right through the damn thing. So I kind of messed that one up. Oh, before I found a catering company today in Ohio called Pickled Dick. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> right. Oh, almost did that one too. Almost put my finger through this one too. Damn it. Let me try and be careful here. I think I might be able to save this one though. Fat finger syndrome, that's what it is. I saved this one too. Cool, that was lucky. I almost split that one clean in two as well. Darn it. <clears throat> All right. So the thing is, <clears throat> of course, I've screwed these two up. So, we'll give this a whirl and just see. We'll, get, we'll give it a whirl and see if we can hold it together. So, we'll put some flour on it. Just, in, just to try and see if we can get it to. That one there looks a bit, <laughs> that one there looks a bit wrecked.
don't know if this is even enough. That one might not work. <clears throat> that one might not work there. Let me wash my hands. As I said, it's been years since I made these things. I wasn't sure how they were going to turn out anyway, so. All right. I wasn't quite sure how they would turn out, so they're actually actually very, very close to how I thought it'd turn out and be a shit show, but <laughs> We're gonna try it like this anyway. Oh, it's been years since I made these. Last time I made them, the people that I made them for wanted, uh, they wanted hard boiled eggs. So hard boiled eggs is real simple to make, you know, cause you just boil the hell out the egg. Whereas I'm trying to do it a little bit softer. So. But we'll be all right. It'll we'll get it. Some of this is a little, did you make scotch eggs before when you had a bigger party? Yes, I did. I've never made them on stream before, but I've made them several times. Just got to get the, once you get the first part down and once you get like the, the egg coated and stuff, that's the easy part. See like that. That's the easy part now, see? Now I've done it, I've done these before too, where I've not dipped them in breadcrumbs and stuff, but I have actually like wrapped them in bacon and I've done them on a smoker. Oh man, let me tell you. Oh, let me tell you, when you do it on a smoker and they, 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 they call them dinosaur eggs. <laughs> So what you do, being very delicate, you know, being, being as delicate as you can. Roll it like that. Okay. Then put it in there. Get it all coated with egg. like so, right, and then put it in your cornflakes. The deer are coming to visit tonight. We've got like four deer up there now. And there you go. And then you just fry that. We're going to put this on a plate and put it in the fridge for now and then we're going to fry it what's the law on killing deer you're not allowed to <laughs> you're not allowed to it has to be in season <laughs> milford's like kill it make a plate that's a cheap meal <laughs> it didn't it didn't cost you nothing kill it <laughs> yeah no i can't do that <laughs> not allowed to Yeah, so there you go, look. Now you can make it more egg-shaped if you want. 
I'm not worried about that. That can stay just like that. This one that's here, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to salvage this one. This one might not, this one might not make it. We're gonna try it anyway. What the hell? We'll see. We'll see if we West Virginia, you'll do more killing a deer out of season than you will. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, they they literally come right up to my window here. They will literally walk up to the window right out here by the hat, literally right here. There's two big ones out there right now. They are some, they are a couple of, ooh, a couple of big females out there now. And they just, they just come and hang out in the yard and then they eat the bird feeders. They like knock the bird feeders like they're boxing. Like they're punching the bird feeders. They're literally like, they're literally like doing this. And, uh, and then um, they knock the food on the floor and then they eat it. Oh, you'll never get, you'll never get TJ to shut up now. No, I guess cooking, I can only imagine. No one likes poachers, yeah. Bean Joshed. Holy crap. How are you, Josh? Welcome in, buddy. The Daddy Draws. You've been Joshed. Thank you very much for the follow. Santa Bomb. How are you guys? Welcome in. Um, welcome, welcome. How's it going, guys? How was the stream? Uh, the Crimson. Thank you very much. All right, so we're going to do this again. I'm going to try and roll out another piece. See if we can get this a little bit better this time. This might even be way too much for this little one. Sunken Lamp, how are you? Welcome in. Thank you guys very much for the follows. I appreciate it very much. We are on the road to 2,500 followers. I have no idea what the number is now. I stopped looking, but... Uh, hello, doing well, thank you. Yep, how was the stream? How was the stream today? And uh, what'd you do? Was you, uh, was you gaming today? All right, we're making some scotch eggs. I don't know if you guys know what scotch eggs are, or if you have any interest in <laughs> knowing what they are. Basically, what they are is it's a boiled egg, soft boiled egg, really soft boiled egg, and you take sausage meat and wrap around it, and then you dip it in flour, egg, flour, breadcrumbs, and then you make these, and then you shallow fry these, and it's basically an egg, bacon, with cornflakes around the side of it. Very good. Play some games and watch the PlayStation Showcase. There you go. Yeah, so I haven't, I haven't made scotch eggs in a long time. And trust me, it's showing. I've already broke one egg. That's why this egg's half the size. That's why this egg is half the size, because I broke it. So I'm trying to redeem it. I'm trying to bring it back to life. This is going to be a little baby sausage. This one, some, I'll probably eat this one, because my wife will be like, well, where's the rest of it? But it's... You just literally take it like that. Yeah, see, this is a little baby one. This is like a snack size. <laughs> this one's definitely a snack size. But again, like, like Big Dave said, if you didn't see me do that, you wouldn't know that this was a, a screwed up one. So maybe I just don't tell her, maybe just tell her it was a quail egg or something. If I don't tell her, she won't know, right? That's the only thing, it's kind of, kind of messy. So yeah, you just take it like this, you roll it, you roll it in the flour, and you make sure all like your, you know, like your little nooks and your crannies. We'll keep your secret. Thank you, Milford. I don't believe you for one second. 
I don't believe you for one second. <laughs> All right, then we're going to put that in there like that. Yeah, yeah, see? I know you too well already. <laughs> right, and then you just take it, drop it in there like so. Once you get these made up, you put them in the fridge for a bit so the sausage firms up. We all like a firm sausage. And then you uh, shallow fry it. And that's your scotch egg. And you can serve them with a lot of different things. I'm doing mine with uh, potatoes and homemade baked beans. You don't have to do it with that. You can do it with a salad if you want. You could do it with fries. You literally can do it with anything. There's quite a few different things you can serve it with. Of course, salad. I mentioned salad and everyone's like, salad? But no, like a scotch egg is good with a salad. I like it with a salad. And you can eat them hot or cold too. Like I, I like my scotch eggs cold. I like them warm, but I like them, I like them cold. But that's just me. Right, so I'm going to get rid of this. This is the evidence. We're going to get rid of the evidence from the other egg. Right, let me get two more pieces of plastic wrap. Right. Now, because I've got two eggs left, I'm just going to hopefully, hopefully have enough, which I should have. If not, I'll just keep rolling it until I do have. See, this is where I need a bigger, bigger space for this, but it's all right. So just push it down as much as possible. All you're looking for is basically the surface area that you can stick an egg in and roll it around. So we should be fine with what we've got. Should be able to fit an egg in there. Speaking of food, I'm going to go start dinner for tonight. All right. Yeah, no problem. What's for dinner tonight? What are we making? What are we making? All right. Again. Roll this in the flour. Put that there like that. Now I don't know if this is how, I don't know if how this is like, you know, other people make their eggs like this. Chicken tea, I had chicken tikka last night. We made chicken tikka live on stream last night. We didn't do the masala part, but we did the, the tandoori skewers, very, very nice. Really, really good dish. Probably one of my favorites. Yep, the pictures are up on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. All my accounts, the pictures are up on if you're interested in seeing that. All right, so literally that's all you do there like that. Now, some people might not make theirs like I make these. But uh, all the foods, oh yes, oh yes. There's a bunch of food on there. If you're a, if you're a food person, that I post food almost every day, unless I forget, <laughs> and then I post then I post abundance in one day. Right. So then, just like that, and then roll her in the egg again. Now guys, anybody that's tried tried these, anybody that's tried, anybody that's had these, how do they like, how do you like them? Hot, cold? Um, what's your favorite way to eat a scotch egg? 
Some people eat it with mustard, some people eat it with ketchup, some people eat it with, there's all sorts of different ways that people do it. Right, again, we'll close this up. Milford will probably say a little ketchup. Right, Milford? Am I right in guessing you would say ketchup? Or am I totally off? Madras sauce. Madras sauce with a... Well, that sounds good. Curried. Curried. Cold with HP. Ooh. There we go. See, now I've got a, I've got some HP. you got to have your HP sauce, so I've got some of that. Definitely with tomato sauce. I'm going to say... I'm going to say, I know Milford. I know Milford too well. That's kind of why I did the baked beans, because I thought if I do the baked beans, at least there's a little bit of a, a sauce there. Hey, Navy, how are you? Welcome in. All right, so. This one might be a bit thin. This poor thing here might be a bit thin. Right, let's put this over here. It might be all right still. Big Dave, what about you? If you're still here, how do you eat your, how do you eat your uh, uh, Scotch eggs? And James, how do you eat yours? Cumberland sausage is nice for the Scotch egg. What? So you use Cumberland sausage meat instead? Cold normally, yeah. As the meat, nice. Nice. Cumberland is good. Cumberland is good. I bet chorizo would be good too. Really any kind of sausage would be good, innit? Like, because there's all sorts of different stuff you could do. Like Lincolnshire sausage would probably be good. Lincoln would probably be good because it's quite a nice taste in, you know, it's got a nice taste in the, uh, Lincolnshire sausage. All right, we'll put that there. I do like a Lincolnshire sausage. You haven't been able to find any of them over here yet. It's just easier to make it yourself. All right. And again, you just can, you can roll it until it doesn't look ugly, you know? Basically, what we're trying to do is just coat that egg in sausage meat. We're getting this egg happy again. We took the shell off, now we're giving it, we're giving it a shell of sausage meat. Right, like that. You just want to make sure you get the holes on the sausage meat kind of blocked up because with the eggs being soft, if the if the egg leaks out, you know, if the if the egg itself bursts and it leaks out, it's gonna ruin all your oil. So the cheat the, the easy the cheat code way of doing it is roll it in flour and then just Use the flour against your hand to coat all the close all the holes. Put it in, put it in here, into your egg wash. And you don't really have to be, you know, you want to be somewhat gentle because you don't want to like destroy the thing. But then in your regular corn flakes, we just crushed them up in the food processor. So a lot of the times they use like really, really, really red uh, breadcrumbs or they put this really fine and they use this. But this is, 
This is how I've used I used to make them when I used to make them is use cornflakes, crushed cornflakes. And there it is. And then we just take them and we put them in the fridge to cool them down a bit. It'll actually like firm them up a bit so when we fry them, um, when we fry them up, they uh, they stay together. So we'll put, we'll put, yeah, there they are right there, see? So we'll put them in the fridge. Put that in the fridge like so. Our homemade baked beans. We're gonna, we're gonna sauce them in a minute. Add some more water and put some sauce in there. Again, these aren't Branston or Heinz baked beans. These are, these are mine. <laughs> they have no, there's no recipe attached to these. I'm completely winging it. No, I'm joking. They do take a little bit of time to cook though, because, so I soaked the Northern beans. I soaked the beans overnight because it makes them a little bit softer. There's brown sugar, molasses, ketchup, mustard. Um, they come in a bag like this. They come in a bag like that and then you just soak them. What are my top five dishes to make? Ooh. Um, I like to make, a, I, like, I love making Indian food. Indian food is probably my favorite. I could tell you my least favorite is Dutch food. <laughs> um, Indian food, probably um, chicken piccata is another favorite of my wife's, so, so we make that quite a lot. Um, what did you roll the egg in prior to? Uh, a little bit of flour. A um, little bit of flour, and then in the sausage, then in the egg, and then in the, in the um, uh, cornflakes. Um, I'm really not fussy, honestly. I, I, I'm, I love making all sorts of stuff. Um, but like I'd say my top, my top, I'll give you my top two. My top two, hundred percent is probably either a chicken piccata. Yeah. Yeah. Dutch food. We don't do Dutch food in here. Uh, we don't do Dutch food in here, especially when they name it after like a hairdryer or something. Well, they named it like after a barber shop or something, wasn't it? Cap Salon. Hairdresser. They named this thing Cap Salon, and it's named after a hairdresser. And I made it, and the, you would think every single Dutch person on, on the planet was in my stream that night. I'm not even joking. It literally seemed like every single Dutch person that was on the planet was in my stream that, there, that night. It wasn't even the Cap Salon that was the bad thing. Yeah, thanks, Dave. I still have nightmare. I still have nightmares about that word. I can't even say it, let alone cook it. I even bought a special pan to make them, and I'm petrified to go back to try and making them again. That's how emotionally scarred I am about Dutch food. It petrifies me. Like it makes me sick to my stomach. <laughs> yeah. No, they did not. It was like, whoa, calm down a bit. Calm down. Needless to say, I ran them off pretty quick too with the, with the way my cooking looked. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't good. Capsalon. It's named, it's literally Capsalon, right? Capsalon's translation is hairdresser. They basically make, they basically make a pan of food in a foil, a shallow foil thing with fries, some meat, some chicken, some lettuce, some tomatoes, and put this like weird like sauce over the top of it. And I'm like, well, this is, this is like as good as it's gonna get. That looks nothing like it. I'm like, well, it's my interpretation. It looks nothing like it. That's terrible. Oh my God. And then the, again, I can't even say that. 
Pofetus, whatever the heck that is. Uh, Cole Foreman, how are you? Welcome in. Thank you very much. Welcome to the family. Um, yeah, so, so like, this, uh, I can't even say it. The pof thing, the poffetages or whatever the hell they say. I can't say it. Them things are like pancakes that blow up like little balls. Terrible. <laughs> I couldn't make them for nothing. I couldn't make them for nothing. I tried so hard to make them stupid things. Mine were like flat. Mine were literally flat like a pancake. When now I have this little thing. This, this here is actually a pan to make them. This is actually a pan to make them. And I'm absolutely petrified to even attempt to make them again. I bought the pan to make them, but I'm scared to death to try to make them again. In case I bring all the duchies out again. They were like, they were like rabid dogs. They literally were like rabid dogs. They were like, what on earth is that you're making? Nothing, never mind, move on. I would like to make Japanese pancakes. Well, hello. Got you eggs. Did you? That's four sausages, one sausage around each one, and a boiled egg. These are huge. It's one boiled egg. Jeez. It's not that big of a deal. See what I gotta eat tonight? You don't have to if you don't want to. Uh, I'll give it to somebody else. Maybe cow. <laughs> uh, what well, they can, you can eat them cold as well. Did we get any snow? Well, yes. Yeah, we got some snow, but it was like ice snow. Yeah, it was weird. It's like covered everything completely again. So, yeah. Yeah, it's not nice out there. I don't think I'm going to go to I don't blame you. Yeah, I don't blame you. Right, then we're going to do these right. taters. You taking the piss? No. You're not? No. Sounds exactly like you are. <laughs> Rob put his finger through the egg. Okay, pizza, huh? Oh. Remember? Yep. Why did you read that? I don't know. <laughs> okay, then we're going to do them like this. Long ways. I t it's hard when you like look at the stuff and then see it and like, uh, you know. Is yeah, last night was a last night was a big clean up night. Good Lord. Took me forever to clean the kitchen last night. And after you done eating too, it was tough. It was tough. <laughs> now force a habit, Dave. Force a habit. All right. So for our potatoes, We're just gonna do a little butter, some olive oil, a 
some butter, some olive oil. Yeah, it's, na it's nasty outside. Not good out there at all. Snowplow guy came round and it looked like he gave up halfway through. <laughs> Ooh, I dropped that down there. Those people that came to look at the house the other day were supposed to come back. Uh... They're supposed to come back this weekend, but I'm not sure if they're going to drive in this weather. I wouldn't want to drive four hours in this weather. So we'll have to wait and see. All right, so we're going to take that off the beans now. We're going to add a bit more sauce to them in a minute. Oh no. A little mustard, a little ketchup. There's already brown sugar, there's already molasses, and there's an onion in there. Now they're not going to look yellow or they're not going to look like orange because obviously they haven't been sat in there, you know, like forever. <laughs> Like they've not in it, they're not canned, so they're gonna still look a little pale. These will these beans will look a little pale. Right, such a pleasure meeting you, and I've got to finish my work day. Cheers until noon. Okay, Crimson, thank you very much. Appreciate it for hanging out. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of your day. And we will catch you some other time. All right, we're gonna turn this, I'm gonna bring this over here. Because I can't. Have that at the back and that's in my way so so yeah so the baked beans will look that sort of color they won't like they won't have that orange color to them because of obviously they've not sat in that sauce in a can and sat and got happy you know so right so these are just uh what they call salt potatoes. They're like new potatoes, uh, but they call them salt potatoes. In New York, they literally boil them in a in basically a huge big pot of water with a ton of salt in them. That's a New York thing. Salt potato. Well, it's a it's an upstate New York thing. Salt potatoes. It's like, oh, that sounds really good. Now they are, but they're not good for you. So I don't ever, I'll show you the bag of salt. I'll show you the bag of salt it comes with. Right, this is a, this is a, what is this? Five pound bag, 10 pound bag. So what, five pound bag of, five pound bag of potatoes, right? Okay, five pound bag of potatoes with this much salt. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you're supposed to cook them <laughs> look at that look at that all right james take care mate look at that why is that why is that so <laughs> that's cr that's crazy ain't it how much salt Looks like, it looks like I'm a dealer, don't you? <laughs> That's insane. All right, so now we're going to turn on the oil in the back a little bit low as well. That's a lifetime worth of salt. Yeah, me too. Me too. That's a ton of salt. That is an absolute ton of salt absolute ton
Way too much. Way too much. Like, I wouldn't even... Like, there's no way. I just saute my potatoes in a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of butter, till they soften up a bit, and then season them. So they get, they kind of look like roast potatoes a little bit. And then we'll just put some salt and pepper on them. Away you go. Job done. Yeah, but look at that. Like, I go down the corner and I'll be a dealer. Like, Can you want some salt, mate? You want some salt? <laughs> Good Lord. All right, so we're going to do the, we're going to heat up the oil a little bit. Let's give these baked beans a taste in a second. Thanks, James, for reminding me. Butler's off to watch the cricket. He wants to watch his middle wicket. All right. Let's give these a whirl. Yep. Mm. Wow, they're freaking good. They just need to cook, cook a little bit more. Mm. Wow, they are freaking good. They got excellent flavor to them. Really, really good. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, that handles hot. Some like it hot. Another way you can do this is like you can get it to this point and you can put them in the oven, finish them in the oven. You could saute some onion and throw the onion in there as well. Good afternoon, Holland. How are you? Happy Thursday, yes. Happy Thursday, almost Friday. Anybody got any plans this weekend? Anything exciting happening this weekend? No? I don't know what we're doing. Probably packing boxes. Probably packing boxes. That's always fun. Actually, Laura's working. Laura's working. So I'll probably be packing boxes. Watching the toon lift the League Cup. I hope they do. God, I hope they do. I really do hope they do. Oh, my God. And I tell you what, I hope Carius has man of the match. Man of the match, I hope he is. I hope he saves like four penalties. <laughs> God, I hope they do. Laura used to be a Newcastle, not I say you used to be a Newcastle United supporter. She ever since when Laura moved when Laura came over to England, um, she always used to follow Newcastle United. And I said, why do you like them? Like of all the teams you could like, why do you like Newcastle United? And you know what it was? <laughs> the Newcastle Brown, the Newcastle Brown Ale sponsor. 
she used to drink, we used to drink the hell out of that stuff. And she was like, that's my team. I like the sponsor. <laughs> that's why she started watching Newcastle. Yep. She used to, she, oh my God. She, she got, in fact, she's got two or three jerseys back there. When they had, they had the Northern Rock one, I bought her the Northern Rock one. She goes, I don't like that one quite as much. She, uh, she still, she still has the one with a, with a Newcastle Brown on it. That was years ago. Yeah, she still has that. All right, so we're going to leave that. We're going to leave that. We're going to not try to burn my fingers on that. And we're going to do something. Let's see, what would that be? 90? No, it was before then. It was way before then. 92, maybe? 91, 92, somewhere around there? It was way before then. Way before 96. Like, way before. I'll have to have a look and see, see if it's got the year on it. It's in her cupboard. Oh yeah, she's a she was a huge fan. We always had Newcastle Brown in our fridge, always. Excuse me. Always, always, always. That was the one thing that we always had in our fridge. <laughs> kind of crazy, but <laughs> kind of crazy all these years later. All right, now we're going to cheat a bit. We're going to cheat a bit. We used to get it from the Air Force Base, so it was always cheap. It was always cheap. Whoa, it was always cheap, so we'd get loads of it. And put them in the oven. In the oven for a little bit. It was one of the early ones. It was one of the ones, this shirt had a round collar on it. Black and white round collar on it. Now, like I said, she had a few of them, so it might have been the one you're talking about. It had a, literally, I think it was an uh, Adidas one, and I think it had a round collar. Pretty sure. Pretty sure it was all the way around, like a, pretty sure it was a, an Adidas one. Did it have a Newcastle badge on the back of the shirt? I'll have to go look and see. I'll have to look and see. I'll find out for the next stream and let you know. I'll see if I can find it and pull it out. All right, so these things here, I'm gonna make sure that oil gets hot enough, but not too hot, otherwise it'll burn. There's nothing worse than burnt oil on your food. Right, so we're at one, 192 right now. So that wouldn't work. If I put these in, the sausage wouldn't cook in the middle just yet. Yeah, I'd have to have a look and see. She's had a couple. I know Shearer was playing for them when, they, when he had this. Shearer was playing for him because this shirt, I've seen pictures of him wearing the shirt. When did he join? Because it would have been one of the first years he was there. He signed 96. Okay, then so it would have been 96 then. So it must have been the ones before that. Oh, yeah, wait. So we were dating. We were dating and she had one. And then when we got married, 
we lived in England for five years. So yeah, it would have been 96. Yeah, would have been the 96 one. Yes, that's exactly what it would have been. All right, let's try this baby one. We'll try the baby one first. Not quite ready, see? That's the tester one anyway. That's the tester one. Yeah, so that's when it would have been then, 100%. Because uh, so we're going to use this. I was nine when she resigned, I still remember the day. <laughs> I got it. Yeah, I got to make sure this. I got to get this oil heated up a lot more than what it is. Definitely got to wait till that oil heats up a little bit more than that. So the first one's going to be a bust. The first one's a tester. But that's all right. You was nine. Wow. Another way you can do it, you can always start them off. You can always start them off in the fryer and then finish them in the oven as well. That's another easy way to do it. So you get like the crumb, the go you get the crumb golden and then put them in the oven. You could do that that way too. What did you use for the crumbs? Cornflakes. I use cornflakes. So all I did was, uh, that's all I'm going to do with that. I'm going to roll them like that brown them off like that, and then uh, take them out. Yeah, so Butler, I'll strain this, I've strained this oil three times already. I've used this oil three times on three different dishes on three different days. So I clean it, I clean it every, after every stream I clean it. So I don't get that like weird, you know, that weird like you're saying about, oh God, all that oil, I completely agree. I completely agree, it's a lot of oil, but. I'm the same way, I, I, you know, I don't like to use the, I don't like to waste the oil, so I always strain it and then use it a couple more times.
there's nothing worse than wasting wasting oil. And I have so I have a thing. I have a stuff this stuff called uh, fry it away. And once this, uh, I work in kitchens as a job, and you can tell who uses oil a lot. It's all over. Oh yeah, yeah, yep. So what I do with my oil, I have this stuff called fry away. And once this, once I use this, so this is the third time I've used this, right? So I probably won't use this again. So this stuff called fry away, I pour it in there and it's hot, shut this off, pour it in there, shut that off, and it'll, it'll harden up, the oil hardens up, and then I just throw it in the garbage can. How you doing, Chris? Then I just throw it in the, I throw it in the, um, throw it in the garbage can, that way you don't have any, you don't have to, it, and it's, it like solidifies. So uh, it goes straight in the garbage can. Yeah, not too bad, mate, not too bad. Sorry I didn't pop over and see your stream yesterday, it took me two hours to clean my kitchen up last night. You, as I sat down, I think you just ended. It, yeah, this kitchen was trashed yesterday. So, but the tikka was nice. The chicken tikka masala was nice. Leftovers is even better. <laughs> Making some scotch eggs tonight. Taking me two weeks to sober up. <laughs> In it, oh no. <laughs> it's taken you two weeks to sober up, Braveheart. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, so, are we all Newcastle at the weekend, are we? None of us are going to be watching for Man United, surely. <laughs> you found Tartan. He's been missing a while. He's been working, I think. I know he ain't been well either. I don't I don't think he's been very well either. Like you MIA for a while. Yeah, I don't I don't think he could uh he was saying I think he said something about his back or something. I can't remember what he said now. But he had, he weren't very well for a bit. Probably the fact that uh, Nick Pope got it on the head with that ball and scored a hell of a goal. That's probably what it was. But it probably made him real sick. Up the tune. <laughs> Milford, I'm surprised your name's not black and white. Still not right. Damn. Yeah, that's been a long time. Yeah, that's not good. That is not good. Hopefully he gets hopefully he gets it sorted. Yeah, that's that's not good there. All right, so we're gonna finish these in the oven as well. Cause I'm not gonna mess around and wait half hour for this to cook all the way around. I can stick it in the oven or even, you could even do these in the air fryer. I bet these will be perfect in the air fryer, you know? I bet these will be solid in the air fryer. But cause I've already got the oven on, I'm gonna use the oven. So there's our Scotch eggs. Shut that off, put that over there like so. So our homemade baked beans as well. I don't know why I turned that off. Homemade baked beans. Air fryers, they scare me too modern. No, they're really nice. I'm telling you, air fryers are fantastic. Air fryers are fantastic. I reckon they cook. I reckon that air fryer would cook that that uh, Scotch egg perfect. 
You know how confident I am? You know how confident I am? I want to set my air fryer up and just try it. I use mine all the time because of the price of having real oven on scares you. <laughs> yeah. I, I want to set my air fryer up and try it just to see. I bet it'd be perfect. I reckon I could do it in 10 minutes, not even 10 minutes, probably 10 minutes, about 350 for, what would it be? 350 for, about three, yeah, about 350 for about 10 minutes, I reckon. I reckon it'd be perfect. We're gonna, we're gonna give it a whirl. I, I don't even care now, we're gonna give it a whirl. We're doing it, we're going all in. We're going all, and I've got a cheap one. Mine's not even like, mine doesn't have any of the bells and whistles or anything. Mine, well, and there goes a whistle. <laughs> I don't. Mine doesn't have any of bells or whistles or nothing. Mine's just a straight up. I've had an air fryer since 2015. Threw the deep fryer out 2016. Haven't deep fried anything since then. Yeah. Yeah. I I uh, I am not surprised. We're all in. We're all in. We're gonna we're gonna do them all in the bottom of the deep fryer. We're gonna do them all in this thing because I reckon it worked perfect. I'm more old school. Yeah, but you got to move with the times, Holland. You know, you got to move with the times. Got to just you know shimmy a little bit. <laughs> Right. Ooh. Air fryers in this house is a taboo. <laughs> We're going to give it a whirl. You know what? If this works, you don't have to buy it. Like uh, this one here that I got was cheap. Like I didn't buy like the top of the line. I need to buy it. I need to buy a really good one. They've got that, that one that, uh, that one that you got, Chris, that uh, ninja thing, that thing is, ooh, that thing is bad. That thing is awesome. All right. So we're going to do 10 minutes. My brother-in-law was the same Holland. Now he doesn't stop talking about it. A little coal of oil prior to place. So with mine, because I did them in the fryer, did, a, did them in the oil anyway, there'll be a little bit of oil in there anyway. Got the big one, two drawers, yeah. Yeah, so Chris's one has literally has two drawers on it. So he could cook his whole, he could do his whole meal in, in the air fryer. That's the, one, that's the one that Chris has, yeah. That's the one that Clan has. That thing is the holy grail of air fryers. Good to know, maybe I change my mind one day. That is the holy grail of air fryers for sure. I just almost burst that bag of salt. Bloody hell. Almost burst it. Yeah, that thing is that thing is unreal. Alright. So the homemade baked beans. They're not Heinz, they're not Branston. <laughs> they're just they're just mine. <laughs> Took me eight months. Aren't they harder to get than a doctor's appointment? What? Oh, the yeah, the air fryer? Yes. Yeah, the ninja one is, yeah. There's the potatoes. So these are just like... Any Henderson's in the beans? Not yet, but there will be. Not yet, but there will be. <laughs> I'm was just waiting for the right moment to put it in. <laughs> you know, I think this might be the last bit of my Henderson's I got. I got to order another bottle. We're going to be on to bottle number nine. Yeah, look. Look at that. It's all that's left. This will be bottle number nine. Bit of cheese, what, in your beans? On top of your beans, maybe. 
but not with scotch eggs. I don't know, that might be a bit weird. The only thing, the only thing, right, that worries me about this air fryer with scotch eggs is will the eggs burst? That's the only thing. So I have to keep checking them. Doesn't look like it. Don't look like it, so. All right, we're going to put it on that. We're going to put it on the plate that. We're going to put it on the plate that Milford don't like, the scratchy plate. <laughs> Milford don't like that plate for some reason. Neither does my wife. She hates it. That's why I put it on there. <laughs> yeah, she hates that plate. We're just going to do a little bit of beans in there and then we'll pour them over when we're... If you cook egg in the microwave, it explodes. Unless you pierce it just a little tiny bit. If, if you crack the... Take the, You know, like the top of the egg? If you take the top of the egg and just put a little... Just a little tiny crack in it, it won't do it. Just a tiny bit, almost like an air hole. It won't. It won't explode. We used to do it with. The, we used to do it with the young guys that come in and never cooked before. We'd bet them money that they wouldn't. They're like, "Can you cook an egg?" And they're like, "Yeah." They're like, "Can you cook an egg? Can you cook an egg in the microwave?" I'm like, "No, you can't do that." Like, okay, so if I can cook the egg in the microwave, you get to clean the whole line tonight, and I'm going home early. They're like, yeah, all right, that's no problem because you're not going to be able to do it. You literally just like, just like a little tiny, like a little tiny, just a tiny, tiny hole. I never broke one yet. <laughs> and I had the kitchen cleaned up every time. It was awesome. <laughs> I left early for about a week straight because them guys would be like, yeah, you can't do that. Yes, you can. Oh, yes, you can. Don't tell me that don't tell me that it can't be done because I'm gonna to prove to you that it can. <laughs> My boss was livid too. He's like, how do you get to go home early every night? I'm like, I have my reasons, I have my ways. Yeah, but he's like, how? I'm like, I asked them if they want to know how to cook an egg in the microwave. First of all, I didn't say I was gonna cook the egg in the microwave. I just asked them if they knew how to cook a, a good egg. And I say, no, 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 you got to cook it in the microwave. And they're like, what? I'm like, yeah, you got to cook it in the microwave. That can't be done. Oh, oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah, these are, these are doing all right, yeah? Five more minutes and we'll be well away. Now, if you literally, right, you could just take a needle and just, just like really push the needle down in half. If you catch it in the nut, like if you catch it just right, you'll, you'll break it. And it's not talking about like even breaking like the, you just literally want to like pierce a tiny hole in the membrane. That's all you want to do. You'd be able to do it. All right. Let's see what we got here. Now we're boiling. Right, we're gonna let that just, just the tiniest, next time you use an egg, you have to show us. All right. I haven't got any more actually today, otherwise I'll show you now. But yeah, you can, you can, it's like a little tiny, just a tiny, you just push that damn thing, just. Just a tiny little bit. Actually, you could probably use this. Probably use this and break it. That tiny little point there, you could probably just, just like, just touch it. Like probably not, not even that much of it in there. Just a super, super tiny piece of it.
All right. We're going to move this out of the way because we're going to cut one of them. I'll cut one of the eggs to show you. We got four minutes on the air fryer. See if the beans are. Mm. Now there's no sauce in there, but I, I just took the sauce off, but they're Bloody good. Mm. Mm. That's good right there. Mm. Wow, that's good. This is beans for days here. <laughs> beans for days here. We're doing scotch eggs tonight. We're doing homemade baked beans. And then we did uh, some potato wedges. Homemade scotch eggs. Three minutes on the scotch eggs, I believe. Yep, three minutes on the scotch eggs. Beans are pretty close right now. I'll take some of that juice and put it in there as well. Oh, wait for this. Wait for my real estate guy to call me back. I think he forgot my phone number. <laughs> I think he forgot my phone number. There we go. So some homemade baked beans. Do they have the same texture? Yeah, exactly the same. Yep. Yep. Nice and soft, really good. All right. Here we go then. We love beans in England, I'm sure I've seen a lot of Americans take the piss. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, they uh, they like beans too. They like beans in their barbecues and stuff like that. When they have a barbecue, baked beans is the first thing on the menu. Is it butler that puts milk in his beans? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can, we're going to give this a minute. This thing's gonna be red hot. I'm gonna give it a minute to uh, to cool down so I can cut it. Now the only thing is, is I don't know which way the yolk was. So if I cut it, it might be it might be yeah, candid. I'm hoping not, but if it goes this way and I cut it, then I'll cut it. You know, then I'll cut it the wrong way. But it's all right. Don't matter. All right, let's see. What the hell? Let's see. Let's see if we can cut it. Ooh. Oh. Moist. That's how I like mine anyway. I like mine like that. Now, now Milford's going to tell me, hell no, that's too runny. It needs to be way overcooked. <laughs> Milford's going to say that's not, that's not cooked. <laughs> Wait for it. 
Yeah, that's way too juicy for Milford. Not dry enough. I love it just like that. Wait for it. <laughs> I know it's coming. <laughs> I know it's coming. <laughs> oh, oh dear, oh dear. Try the air fryer, see if it works. See? <laughs> I like mine like that, Milford. There is absolutely nothing wrong with a runny egg. Just need a slice of bread. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Slice of bread, dab up that. That is not bad at all. Quick and easy. <laughs> well, took me two hours, but still. <laughs> just need some bread, exactly. Yeah, just put some bread in there, sop that up a bit. Lovely. So that's that was when we cooked the egg medium and then immediately put it into ice cold water. So that's what it did. Now, if I took these and put these in the fridge, tomorrow morning they would be they would be, you know, solid. So you can see it's salt is solidifying now a little bit. It's like getting hard. But if, if you wanted it cooked a little bit more than that, then you could. But I, I'm, I'm going to smash it like that. I'm just going to eat it like that. All right, you guys, we're going to go raid somebody, if you don't mind. Let's see who's around. Let's see if there's anybody else around. Ah. Uh, um, we are going to go. We are going to go to, let's go on the food and drink. I like, yeah, me too. I'm not fussy either. <laughs> Honest to God, I'm not fussy either. Um, night. All right, guys. Thank you, mate. Um, let's go to, tell you what, we're going to go to K, uh, K Chick. She, uh, she's, she's a nice girl. We like going to see K Chick. So we'll go, we'll go watch, we'll go see what she's up to. Um, thank you guys very much again for an awesome week of streams. It's been a lot of fun, a lot of laughs. Uh, really appreciate it. We'll be back on Monday, um, with ready, steady cook. And then, um, we're going to do something a little different. I think, I think we're going to go, I think we're going to do a little bit of world tour. I think I'm not sure yet. We're going to work on some stuff, but, but, uh, thank you very much guys. Again, like I said, for hanging out this week, it's been a lot of fun. We've got a lot of new followers, a lot of new friends. And uh, that's only a good thing. So have a great weekend, and we'll catch you uh, on Monday for streaming. But if I pop into your streams and everything, um, I'll see you then. Take care, guys. Thank you.